if Dr. Frankenstein were real and alive today, he'd probably want to stop by the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. Here, scientists are harvesting dead organs and returning them to life. But instead of giant green monsters, these researchers are creating hearts, lungs, limbs, and kidneys that could one day be used to replace failing organs in people. Reporting in Nature Medicine, Harold Ott and his team describe their vision of the future and how they created a functional, transplantable kidney in rats. What we tried to do here is to regenerate organs for transplantation, uh, organs um, for patients with end-stage organ failure. Using donor organs that would not normally be suitable for transplantation, Ott's team reanimates them by first washing away native cells with a soapy solution. What's left behind is a natural scaffold of structural proteins that can be repopulated with stem cells taken from a patient. What's fascinating is that you, you're able to, with that process, preserve the blueprint of the organ, but it's completely washed empty. It's a mere um, a shadow of the original tissue. Now the major hurdle here was to get the, the cells, the viable building blocks, back into the right spots within that organ. That we did through uh, creating literally a pressure gradient across the kidney. So we were able to suck these cells into the tissue, into the kidneys, into the right spots. The organs were placed into chambers that simulate the environment of a body, complete with oxygen and nutrients. After a few days of growth, something remarkable happens. The tissue became functional, so these kidneys started to make a rudimentary urine. In the last step of this experiment, as the ultimate proof of principle, we were then able to take these kidneys from culture and transplant them in an animal model. So, we took that final step to take the kidney out of the bioreactor and then treat it like a transplant organ, like a donor organ, and replace the native kidney uh, in an animal with this engineered kidney. But it's not always that easy. We had to figure out how much vacuum can be applied to the kidney in order to provide just the right amount of tissue gradient to deliver the cells, but not to damage the matrix. Of course, uh, if more vacuum is applied, uh, we had quite a few kidneys blow up in a jar. Hiccups aside, laboratory-grown organs appear to be closer and closer to fulfilling their tremendous promise. The reason why I'm most excited about this recent publication is because it shows the platform character of this technology. The technology can be applied to any tissue, or any organ that uh, can be perfused by its own vascular system. Ultimately, this is a very translational uh, kind of research. Um, it's very much focused on driving this all the way down to, to the bedside, getting this to the patient. 